Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Christy Van with Fantastic Finances and on this channel I teach Velocity Banking. So in the last two or three videos, I have been working with a lady. She was feeling insecure about how to uh, do the debt elimination process with Velocity Banking. Now, before I get a bunch of comments about where is the mortgage, where's the rent, this is a husband and wife that separate their expenses. This is her expenses. The husband has the mortgage, etc. So I hope that clears things up. Her income is $4,700 and her expenses started out at 2065, but through debt elimination, she has brought her expenses down to 990 a month, which is basically her living expenses now. And she has $3,710 in cash flow now. So I'm going to start at month eight. That's where the last video ended. If you have not seen the last videos, please go back and review them so you will know where we're at on this video. We are starting month eight. I went through and just redid month eight so that we could get our little reminder of what the last video showed and where she was. Starting at the $7,796.90 balance on her Federal Navy Credit Union LOC. I have been charging 15% interest all the way through these videos and I think it's more like eight or nine percent, but I'm leaving room for error in case she has expenses come up and she will that she was not expecting. This is just an example to show her how quickly her debt can be eliminated. So in month eight, she'll deposit her $4,700 income. The expenses in the previous video coming out of $1,315. Then I added in the interest of $54.30. That is on this balance. That is not on the average daily balance that the bank will do. So I figured a little bit high because as soon as she makes her income transfer, the balance is going down to $3,096.90. That's before these expenses start coming out through the month. With the interest and the expenses out, her new balance is $4,466.20. So in the end of month eight, she's going to come in and pay off her car, $15,500. She's going to pay off the credit card, $812. We should have wiped it out at the beginning, but I was going for cash flow here. Uh, so, you know, I would have done that in a realistic manner. I would have taken this card out. But uh, the car now, there's a $300 payment on it and it's already been added in here. So the 300 and the 25 are already in her cash flow now. And these are wiped out. She's doing nothing but finishing off getting rid of this LOC. The balance after she adds in the car and the credit card is going to be $20,778.20. One more note, this car payment that she's going to make, the final car payment, it's not going to be 15,500. That's the balance today. We're looking ahead eight months. So she's gonna have been making these $300 payments every month, which will have reduced that balance, right? So that too, leaving room for error is all I'm doing. So the balance of 15,500 will be less and we all know that. But anyway, here we go. Uh, with her balance beginning month nine being 20,778.20, she will do an income transfer of $4,700. Her expenses will come out of $990. And then I added the interest of $210.30 that was based on this $17,068. Beginning month 10, she is at $17,278.50. She'll do an income transfer of $4,700. Her expenses will come out throughout the month of $990. Beginning month 11, she's at $13,735.60. She will do an income transfer of $4,700. Her expenses will come out of $990, and I figured interest at $123.60. Beginning month 12, she's at $10,149.20. So what I did, since she is finishing up the debt elimination, I just showed that what's going to be her balance in month 13 after she does this process every month, income in, expenses out, interest. All the way to month 14, she is at $3,039.14 and month 15, we will call her debt free. Now, from now on, she will just be paying her living expenses out of this 20, 
$5,000 limit that she has to do whatever she wants to do with it now. I love to see people find financial peace. You guys are writing me. You're so sweet. You're always so kind in your comments. Your emails are so encouraging. I am so thankful that you're finding value in these videos. I only want to help you. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I hope that you have enjoyed these videos and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Now remember, I only make suggestions and you make decisions. Make good decisions because we want to be financially free. We want to have our money free so that we can do our giving and our tithing and bless other people with it all week long. Thank you and have a great day.